Hey there, good afternoon. Uh, so, I picked this up at, it's called Bob and Edith's Diner, last night. Out here in Springfield, Virginia. Mm. They gave me these, uh, pack some ketchup and hot sauce. That hot sauce is really good. I'm going to save that for later. Mmm. This is nice and delicious ketchup. Okay. And now this propane cafe. That is a red day. Oh yes. The aromatic, the, just the aroma. Mmm. Mmm. It's so wonderful though. It's piping hot. So I'm putting it over here. I'll worry about that later. This onion ring though. Mm. So they got this, uh, this here, this is a cheeseburger. Okay then. Isn't that just nice? Let's e examine the cheeseburger. Right there. Let's un unwrap. This is a nice little cheeseburger, double bacon cheeseburger review. In fact, but why not just put some hot sauce on it? It looks delicious already. Mmm. Mmm. Lettuce, mayo, onions, tomato, and cheddar cheese. With two patties, I see, okay, I like this. With the bacon included. Mm, nice and spicy. You may go hungry tomorrow, but not today. Let's analyze this. What do you think, guys? Is, is it, uh, would, would it cost 15 bucks for this, though? That's what it was on the menu. Picked this up at 12.30 at night, too. <laughs> Real late. That place is always busy all day long, too. It's like a, a really good destination for like 24-7 food places around here. Oh, this is a substantial, this is a tangible hamburger. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. There's a combination with that fried onion ring. Oh, yeah. This is the last remaining final onion ring. Here it is. Okay. Mmm. Ha ha ha. 
Dude, so here's the other hot sauce. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Ha ha ha. Mm. That's really interesting. Wow. Well, I have to use tools to open this. How did I do it last time? Ah, the serration is right on the corner of the labeling package. Here we go. This is good, t delicious hot sauce. I like that about this. Last time I ordered the same thing that didn't give me one of these, I don't think. In the hot sauce packs. Oh, that's a real bonus though. That would give me extra ketchup, I don't know why. Really cool though. There's a total of four ketchup I put on those onion ring. And they gave me like over a dozen of those. No, they give me exactly 12 ketchups. I don't know. That's too much ketchup for me. The saltiness of the bacon is pretty good. I actually pulled this out of my fridge because I just wanted to save it for like today. I don't know why. So it's pretty cold, but it still has the flavor though. So then it's, it's all right. It, it reminds me of like bringing lunch to work uh, and just leaving it in my car during the winter time. I feel like energized, like, <coughs> after being famished for so long, it, it's like, it's interesting. It's almost like you begin to 
to experience more other things. <laughs> it makes it make, makes life become more meaningful if you do that. If you stay up to date on the latest nutrients and vitamins and minerals, I mean, it makes a huge difference, man. Like more more is stability. And now I can see the clear path forward. The straight path. I'm walking. I'm always I'm always biking actually. I bike fast too. <laughs> it's just what they told me last night. As I was riding up to the diner to grab this, I biked in laps around the whole uh, shopping center mall parking lot. It's a big place out here. Big sprawling parking lots, lots of ramps. I bike on those at Auto Care. <laughs> if they're if they're merging with highway traffic, I don't care. I'll bike at it. I'm so fast, like like uh, I have bright lights too. But I just I would do that sort of thing in the middle of the night, like really late, dark, unless I had a lot of energy. Um, the sunshine seems to energize me way more. I'm always more willing to go at like a fast bike ride, a, a bike race, if there's some daylight. Because it's like harder to get your eyes to adjust in the dark, even if you're driving. Difficult to go from bright lights to dark, pitch black. Your eyes don't adjust that fast, so it, it's, it's like you might not see a little shallow curve in the sidewalk. Or, a rock that's a little too big that would pinch flat your tire or you might end up running into a gutter that almost happened to me yesterday actually and it wasn't even dark out that's the only reason I was able to dodge that thing because I was moving fast through like I was moving from one sidewalk to another paved parking lot place and there was grass in between then inside the grass there was a gutter I had to steer really quick to the left and skid my wheels, digging into the grass a little bit to get enough friction to slow down because I was moving pretty quick. This is a fast bike. It's meant to go racing with the... According to what these people told me, right next to the diner, I, I came up, I, I set my bike there. It's got a nice little kickstand. It looks cool when you set it down like... <laughs> it's like... I might as well just leave it in a parking space, but what I do is I leave it on the sidewalk instead. Unless I'm just at the gas station. And like, I, I take my bike to the gas station, yeah? Even if I'm not getting any gas, there's other things that they sell there. <coughs> so, so, this is the water. This water, I have be, be, been able to, to bless this water with, with uh, creatine hydrochloride and I uh, did that yesterday it's, it's not like it broke down it's just been dissolved sipping on that so it's like water but instead of passing right through your kidneys you don't you don't lose the water right away it soaks immediately right into your muscle your skeletal muscle you, it begins to swell up like a sponge this is what this is doing right now. I just went biking hard out there. It's hot today. I was sweating too. I had electrolytes in my system too, so everything's moving right along real smooth. I'm not even gonna piss this water out. It's gonna soak right up inside of my like my leg, my my thigh, and everything. It, the, the whole thing. I'm going to become like more uh, plump, if you will, but in like a positive way. It's just the, the hydrochloric acid that is mixed in, so that that's what makes it soak up so fast, uh, instantaneously, almost like. I'm going to do some push-ups later. I'm going to feel this though. It's going to work its way right in. <laughs> and I'm not even going to have to urinate. 
even, even after that much water. I was always kind of thirsty actually after riding around. I don't really tend to take too many beverages with me while I'm biking. I travel light though, as light as possible. <laughs> stomach is boiling because like I just had like additional hydrochloric acid you pour that right on top of the cheeseburger and the onion rings and oh yeah oh yeah it, it, it oh <sighs> that is pretty instantaneous immediate digestion too like wow better than like lemonade actually it's, it's like scientifically proven here. Whatever I've got from that GNC though. I don't even remember what brand. Good quality stuff. I like it.